many of you remember the story of Wimpy with Popeye? Everybody remember Wimpy, Popeye, Bluto, Olive Oil. But you ever notice that Wimpy always on Tuesday would always want to borrow some money to buy him a what? A hamburger. He would say, excuse me, sir, if you would loan me a quarter, I would just love to buy a hamburger. And I gladly will repay you back for your hamburger on Tuesday. Have you ever wondered why you never saw Wimpy on Tuesday? He was never to be seen or found. What happened to Wimpy? Well, I can tell you what happened to Wimpy. Because he ate that all beef patty, special sauce, lettuce on a sesame seed bun, and it was so good, it elevated his blood sugar. His pressure got high. And so it took him all week long to come down off of that sugar high from eating that all beef patty special sauce on a sesame seed bun. So they never saw him. He never could pay it back because he was always sick. How many of you are like that? Eating a sandwich that's not really good for you or eating a food item that really causes you more harm than good. I know. Some of you want to say it, but I like it. But if you're a diabetic or not a diabetic, what you eat has a lot to do with what goes on inside of your body. Just imagine plaque inside of your body for a moment. I'm not talking about the plaque you brush off your teeth, the plaque inside your arteries. You go out and run a 26-mile marathon. You run it. You pass the physical. You go home. You're in good shape. You feel pretty good. Then you have another physical. Then you go home, but you die. Was it? You're out of shape? No. Plaque. What goes in comes out. You have to determine what you're eating, is it important or not. You have to realize you're living for yourself. And that's a diabetic. Food is one of those issues that you have to really examine. And the packages that you look at, you must look at the packages. Read the labels on the back. Do not read what it say on the front. You know, you often hear, so sugar is sugar, but I'm here to tell you it's not. Sugar is not sugar. And contrary to what you might believe, the body does know the difference between types of sugars. And get out of your frame mind that a little bit won't hurt. Or oh, I often hear, I've got to die from something. Well, it doesn't have to be from diabetes. But one in ten American diabetic it's at an all-time high, and it's getting higher. You guys have to decide today that I'm going to change my blood sugar today. Is it going to be simple? No. It's a life change. There's no such thing as a quick fix. There's no such, quick, there's no such thing as a diet. It's a lifestyle change that you have to make conscious decisions today. And you know, family members, you have to work with your family member or your loved one because what you can eat, they can't. It's no big deal, but you have to work with them. You can't force them on something that you like. It's amazing when somebody's overweight, nobody compliments and says, oh, you're fat, you're obese, you're overweight. But as soon as they lose weight, they automatically say, are you sick? Is something wrong with you? Hey, don't down me. Please don't do me like that. There's nothing wrong with them. They're just getting their body in control. As a diabetic, you must decide today that you're going to change some things that you're doing and not worry about what someone else says about you or how you're functioning. Take control of that blood sugar. And I was amazed the other day, I was talking to a gentleman, and he had blood sugar problems. But he had forgot how to take his blood sugar. It's been so long, he just going day for day. Don't be like that. Take that blood sugar. Let's do some simple things to get that blood sugar reversed. Is it complicated? No, it's really not. It just takes some decisions on you to do some things that you got to do.